Dennis here from the Pokemon Court, and I'm with my dad. Mm -hmm. And I was just at a seminar or that um, Scott Martin was hosting. Um, if any of you guys watch Scott Martin's channel with the show that are Scott Martin Challenge, you should know him. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description. But I'm, what I'm here for is to unbox a couple of baits and the review that I learned from the seminar. So I'll get started with this, these two cheddar baits that you get from this one. Rattle trap. You not open them? No, I did not. Logan's behind the camera. So I want to show a rattle trap. This is a lipless crankbait. And the biggest difference for most cake crankbaits is it has this fin on the top. So like, it has a fin, and then it uses red treble hooks. Mine uses silver. Yours says silver? Okay, mine has red. The mine has red actually on the side of this one, like a bleeding fish. Blue, silver and blue. So what, so the difference between ours is basically only the colors. And they have ball bearings inside to make yeah, noise. because it's called rattle trap, so it makes sense to make it right there. Mm -hmm. So two baits that we got that were similar. So what was the other ones that are similar to that one? Oh yeah, this is one of them. So mm -hmm. here's this one. That's an um, It's by the Bass Pro Shop Company. Yeah. So the difference, the original rattle trap is seven dollars, yeah. and this one we got on sale from Bass Pro Shop today for two dollars. Better price. And. I can't see it that much. Can you open it? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. The only difference between these baits, other than the prices and the fact that it's the, that um is it doesn't have a fin, and this is a jerk bait. Yep. So this is another lipless crankbait. Lipless crankbait. Crank bait. So this one we got, it's green and yellow, so more and like a bass or a bluegill. It's orange on the bottom. Orange on the bottom. It's kind of like a sunfish. Oh, there's another bait in here like I didn't realize it. This one's, a, this one is actually like more of a rattle trap. So another bass bro. And the bliss. It's a lipless crankbait. A lipless crankbait. So it has a kind of pink and a dot on it. So two dots. So sometimes that's almost like there's two different fish, like there's, a school of fish. There is a... Or a crawfish color. There is a white on the bottom. But and um, black on top. now I'm going to do this part. We got some um, Zoom, the Swim Superfood Baby Bass with Paddletail Swim Baits. We both have the same color, I think. Exactly. Nope, your color is. Yeah. Your color is. Baby bass. Baby bass, and this is bluegill flat. So I'm gonna open this and um show you it. So this is the swim bait. It has a paddle tail, and what I learned about paddle tails is um if you have a paddle tail and you get it into um stuff like bushes and stuff, a single, it's gonna and you try and pull it, it's gonna activate the hook into the thing it's stuck on and then you're gonna have and then you're gonna be pulling the bait all day. He's talking about using something like this as a trailer. With a like, um what's it called? Using this as a trailer on a chatterbait. Chatter right you use it as a trailer and so if you're fishing in open water where there's lots of room it's okay to use a kind of a something like this that's slender. But if you're going to be near cover, um, you use a double tail, something with that's more like a crawfish that has double tails. So if you use double tail, it'll stabilize the bait better as it's going. So why is it going to activate the hook? Because it's going to roll over. 
the whole bay is going to roll over. Okay, go ahead. Um, so it's going to roll over, and what that, and rolling over, what the rolling over does, it, it's going to activate the hook into the place. But when you have a, let me take another one of these out. If you have a two one, it's equal on the resistance, and it won't roll over, her and the hook won't get in the thing. Let's get to the bait. So, no rolling over. Two tail and rolling over to one. Now. So that's for um, if you use chatter bait or if you use this type of tail as a trailer, but you can fish these by themselves as like a little fish. Um, these are zoom super flutes, right? So we have been fishing with the double tail, but these have a swim tail on them. So what hook, we got some hooks to go with them, right? Yeah, um, yes, we need some hooks on You them. have the hooks, grab them. Oh yeah, we got some hooks in here. So let me just find them in here. Um, these are um, troll car hooks and the um, Scott Martin is sponsored by this and then we also got scale here. One second. So these are uh, for swim baits. So you see that they have a little keeper at the top. We're able to screw on Something. the swim bait onto it and then put the hook through. Um, these you can also get them weighted, but having the screw on the keeper keeps them in place. Um, so that way they don't get messed around. But and the trocars for the sale for um, spring. Bass Pro Shop, these were half off. Normally six dollars for these hooks, and they so that's only we got two packs, so two packs for six. Yeah. And we got four aught and five aught hooks. So we got a scale too. Mm -hmm. we, our new scale that's like the five pounds. Um, it has a hook on it. <laughs> that one's sealed. Oh, it's sealed. So it's, a, it's an inexpensive. An expensive scale, but it, you hold it like a T. It has a readout on the top. Oh, Digital scale. And we're going to use it with the fish gripper. So we can grip the, the fish's lips and then put it on the scale here's so we can weigh it. Here's the other books. So we caught a big fish out of our local pond. It could have been five pounds or more, but we don't know. So um, we also got a reel here, but we're not going to unbox it because. It's a little because the um, phone is going to charge. So Abu Garcia, Abu Garcia, which is a good brand. Um, this was only a $20 reel. It's a spin caster, so which the boys both know how to use a spin caster. They're not quite at the a, um, a spinning reel yet. So that is, but it's a good quality reel. So let's do a review. We got anything else? Oh no, we got some. Oh yeah, we got a couple of folders. Some rod socks. So the rod socks go over the rod, uh, over the string, and will protect the eyes and the strings from tangling when they're in my truck or when we're moving them around, so they don't get all tangled up. Okay, so let's do a review. We got a T scale. Trocar hooks. They can't see the ones. Trocar swim book hooks. Single tail swim baits, rival trap baits, Bass Pro Company kind of rattle trap baits, Abu Garcia, an Abu Garcia reel, and we have rod socks made by Russ, um, shop Russ Bass Pro Shops Company. That we have three of those. We have blue, red, and gray. But that's all there is for today. Goodbye!